What do you hear, Walt Whitman? I hear the workmen singing and the farmer's wife singing. I hear in the distance the sounds of children and of animals early in the day. I hear emulous shouts of Australians pursuing the wild horse. I hear the Spanish dance with castanets in the chestnut shade to the rebeck and guitar. I hear continual echoes from the Thames. I hear French, fierce French liberty songs. I hear the Italian boat sculler, the musical resuscitative of old poems. I hear the locusts in Syria as they strike the grain and grass with the showers of their terrible clouds. I hear the Coptic refrain toward sundown, pensively falling on the breast of the black, venerable, vast mother, the Nile. I hear the chirp of the Mexican muleteer and the bells of the mule. I hear the Arab muezzin calling from the top of the mosque. I hear the Christian priests at the altars of their churches. I hear the responsive bass and soprano. I hear the cry of the Cossack and the sailor's voice putting to sea at Alcox. I hear the wheeze of the slave coffee as the slaves march on, as the husky gangs pass on by twos and threes, fastened together with wrist chains and ankle chains. I hear the Hebrew reading his records and psalms. I hear the rhythmic myths of the Greeks and the strong legends of the Romans. I hear the tale of the divine life and bloody death of the beautiful God, the Christ. I hear the Hindu teaching his favorite pupil the loves, the wars, adages transmitted safely to this day from poets who wrote 3,000 years ago.